Hey guys, so today I want to make a little bit of a different video than normal, talking about some of the tools that I use on a daily basis that make my life a ton easier in Path of Exile 2 that I'll recommend all of you guys check out if you're interested. Now, one of these tools is going to be a very well known tool that most people are going to be knowing about. But one of these tools is actually pretty dang new. And I think that most people watching this video probably won't know about it. And I think it's going to change your play style completely. So let's start off with the first one, which is Exile HUD. This is the tool that I think a lot of you guys probably don't know about. And it's a very, very useful tool. There are a ton of features, but I think there are three features in particular that make it extremely useful. The first one has to be the modifier database. So I'd say that this tool in general is kind of like a replacement for PoE2 DB, but it's integrated into the game and you can search things up really, really quickly, which is what I like. So first things first, modifiers, right? Let's say you have a glove and you want to craft on this glove, whatever it might be. Let's say this is a blank glove. You press control Q to open it up and boom, it pulls up every single modifier for this glove, kind of like what you see on PV2 DB or Craft of Exile, where you can see, okay, these are the things that I can roll. It's a int glove and it can roll life, mana, adds damage, physical, etc., etc., and it'll give you all of the different tags. So this is very useful for anybody who's trying to craft or learn how to craft because this shows everything up front from the regular modifiers, the desecrated modifiers, essences, etc., etc., right? So this is very useful for that aspect because again, you can really just be like, okay, here's an item I want to craft on, scepter. There you go. It just pulls up the scepter for you immediately, saving you a ton of clicks. Now, the second thing that I think is very useful definitely has to be the reg X part of this program. So as you can see here, when you are looking through your maps, you might have a ton of maps in your inventory and you want to find the one that is specifically catered to the, what you're looking for. Let's say you're looking for high rarity maps, right? A lot of people do know about reg X, but unfortunately I think the site that normally does reg X for path of exile two is not up to date, but this one luckily is up to date. So you can just go in and be like, okay, I want rarity maps. I want above a hundred rarity. Then it'll create this little line right here. Uh, my head's blocking it, but there's a little bit of line. You can copy it and then you could go into your game and just paste it wherever you want into the search bar and boom, it'll highlight the map that has over a hundred item rarity. And you can do that with a lot of different things, right? You can go in here and do it with, um, rarity, pack size, magic size, rare monsters, waystone drop percentage, and it even has the individual things here for the different lines that you can look for. So this is very useful for anybody who is trying to search through their maps. And you can even save presets here as well that you can go and access later on. Just a very useful tool for people who are looking to basically save time when looking for things in their map tab. Now you can make regex for other things as well outside of maps. Like for example, maybe you're going through campaign and you are trying to look for an item. Unfortunately, that's not supported right now on this program. And I hope that they will do that in the future to help you out with your campaign process as well. But I'd say for most people, you're probably just really worried about the map regex, which is really, really easily accessible right here. So that's another thing that's very useful. And I would say the last thing that is really useful for this on top of just like, of course, having a database of everything that you would find on the uh, PoE2 uh, DB website, right? You can go search everything here, bases, whatever, right? Armor, energy shield, all, all that stuff, right? This is just like a go-to, uh, what is it called? Database for items just like PoE2 DB. But the other thing that, that uh, I think that this program is especially useful for, and for you guys out there who are trying to min-max your currency, this is going to be great, is going to be the merchant history. Now, normally in Path of Exile 2, when you go to Ange, you can see what you have sold, but unfortunately you can't highlight over any of these and actually see like, hey, what are these items that I sold? What do they do? And especially if you guys are selling a ton of things per day, you might forget, oh shoot, what is this item that I sold for three div? What is this item I sold for 80 div, right? What does it actually look like? Well, you can go and use this program to search through your merchant history to find that. Now, unfortunately for me, it doesn't show a lot of the older stuff. Uh, I'm not sure if this is a bug or if this is something that only happens because I only recently installed it. But either way, even if it's not useful now for you, 
or if you're like done playing the game or you're only playing a game for a little bit more and you want uh you can't see the items before in the future right when you're going to new league it's going to be saving everything now how this works is you do have to log into your account but from what I've seen on the Reddit thread, people are saying that it is very, very safe and it's pretty much all done offline. Uh, there's like two people talk about like something about possess ID or whatever. I don't know. I'm not technical enough for this, but it seems from what other people are saying, safety is very, very good with this. A lot of stuff is offline and anything that is touching like login data, it's just all locally saved on your computer. So it's very, very safe and you can use it to go and check your merchant history to see at least, you know, right now what you've sold for the different prices and your, uh, I guess, divine over time, but then also taking a look at the individual items that you sold and seeing what the heck you actually sold to get these profits. So yeah, those are the three ones that I would say are the most useful for this one. And again, there are more things that are more database encyclopedia like as well it's really really cool i'll leave a link in the description for all these tools right so this one i will leave the link in the description below for how you can get it the next one that is very very useful and i'm sure a lot of you guys know about this but maybe not everybody i do get questions about this every now and then is going to be exiled exchange 2 this is the price checking software that people use for price checking the items right so this is really useful when you're trying to price check an item really really quickly as opposed to having to pull up the actual item on the marketplace and type in everything individually this will basically you know again allow you to highlight over an item and then just press a couple buttons and it'll pull up the item and you could filter for whatever you want on the item that you say oh these are what i want to look for to see how much this item is worth right this is really, really useful. And I would say that this is probably one of the most used tools for me on a daily basis, just to see how much my items are worth, whether it's worth selling, whether it's not, but also learning about like what's worth money and not. I think this is really useful for anybody who is trying to learn about like what type of um, lines are useful. For example, is elemental resistance on gloves important, right? This is 62% total elemental resistances. And boom, minimum is five divine, right? So that's very, very important. Is this or that important? You can go and basically check what is important, what's not based off of the prices that are there. But beyond that, you can just price check your items and figure out what you want to sell them for. So yeah, that is the second tool and probably very, very well known for you guys. I'm not going to go over every single little thing. It's pretty self-explanatory. Now, the third tool again is going to be path of building this is what pretty much everybody uses to go and customize their character and just do a bunch of data analysis on their character as you can see i have a lot of these on here because i make a ton of builds and as a result i use pob to min max a lot of them this is a really really useful tool for anybody who is looking for the um, ability to test out their characters because in Path of Exile, unfortunately, we don't really have a target dummy. Now in here, you can go and import your character directly from the website, from the game, and you can put it into the game itself. It'll import all your skills, import all your items, import your tree and everything. And from here, you can do different calculations of like different skills, how much damage they're doing based off of like the effect of DPS, the different debuffs buffs that you have and then also go in here and configure different things like am i always low life with that because i'm running a low life build that's really important what enemy am i going up against do i have like you know are they dazed are the enemies full life are they uh pinned or whatever and then you can also go and customize different things to go and be like oh here are some things that are unfortunately not supported that's a that's the unfortunate part path of building is always a work in progress so there are certain things that are not supported but in general this is going to be the most accurate way for you to figure out how your character is going to perform in the game in an actual uh, setting and another thing you could do that's really cool is just like see where things like for example like a from nothing like how big the ring is and stuff like that so on top of being able to plan your character out, being able to calculate a bunch of different things and simulate a different uh, a lot of different scenarios, it's just a general useful tool for you to go and see what all the nodes are done um, doing. And also, I would say in general, the search feature on this is better for than the one in the game as well for the nodes. So you know it highlights them a lot better than in the game, right? 
So I do that a lot on Path of Exile uh, or Path of Building, just looking for nodes and what they do and where they are on the tree. So yeah, those are three tools that I use on a daily basis that make my life a lot more simple. Now, to be honest, mainly this video was about Exile HUD, but I figured since I was doing a tool video already, I might as well just go over every single tool that I use on a daily basis and give that all to you guys here in a simple one video format. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if there are any tools that you didn't know about that's gonna change your life. Um, and as per usual, if you guys enjoy the video, please, the sub button is the best way to support the stream or support the video, support the channel, support me. And also I stream every single day on twitch.tv slash me select shiru. So I would love to see you guys there and come hang out with me and we can chat about whatever, right? Stream every single night. I also have a discord that's very useful for you guys to contact me. Go check it out. Everything is in the link this, uh, you know, description below. So with that, hopefully you guys are doing well. Hope you guys enjoy the video. I'll see y'all on the next one. All right, guys. Peace.